the Zambian government bishop sold the copper mines in northern Zambia to an outside consortium for $25 million. The copper mines for $25 million because they couldn't manage to keep them. The company that came in and took over the Zambian copper mines in three months made a profit of $75 million. They did not pay the Zambian government up front in cash for the mines. They were going to pay them over a period of time. Here we have this company that has an understanding of how things work, raised the money at the, at the government's expense, took money that the company should have, the, the government should have been making and gave it back to the government and said, we paid our debt in full and give them now 0.006% of the proceeds of copper mining. When right outside the door, there's people in poverty, people in, in uh, not eating, people ignorant, people dying, high levels of AIDS. And what's the deal? Churches are full. People are praising God. Africans pray all night. Prayer is not in the success equation. Prayer is in the revelation equation. Decision making is in the success equation. You have to make a decision and be sound. We have to be disciplined and make sure we go and get what God has called us to get. You can be full of the Holy Ghost, you, but you can still be ignorant. But as for me and my house, I will get understanding. I will get understanding. I will get understanding. It's time now for us to rise up and be counted. This year, the country of Ghana turns 50. Ghana was born the same year we were born, in 1957. Ghana and South Korea had their independence dates on the same day, the same year. But look where South Korea is. South Korea is by nature not a Christian nation. South Korea by nature are Buddhists. China, which is the next large world economy, they have stated that in the next 10 years, 20% of the Chinese people will be multimillionaires. That means almost 450 million Chinese will be millionaires. They are not Christians, they are Buddhists. The Japanese are Shintoists. Those in Indonesia and Malaysia are Muslims. It's not about praising God and hallelujah and a great thank you, Jesus. It's about possessing an understanding as to how things work. 